Okay, in this problem, we want to find the rate of change for f parentheses x comma y is equal to x squared plus 2xy minus 3y squared at the point 1 comma 2 in the direction indicated by the angle theta is equal to pi over 4. And so essentially for this problem, we are finding a directional derivative. So let's get started. So we can say that f is defined as we have x squared plus 2x times y times and then uh, minus 3y squared uh, we hit enter and now we can say that the unit vector u is defined as uh, it will be a unit vector so we want a uh, we want uh, closed brackets so we can say uh, unit vector is this, so cosine theta comma sine theta. So we have a uh, cosine uh, theta, so pi theta comma sine theta, so pi theta. And in this problem, our angle is pi divided by 4, so we can do that. So we hit control, equal, straight line down, and we simply say um, that theta is equal to pi over 4. So pi over 4, pi divided by 4, hit enter, and that is the uh, unit vector. Next we will get the uh, gradient, so we can say grad Uh, no, let's say underscore grad f is defined as uh, we use closed brackets and we will take the derivative in terms of x and in terms of y in terms of x and in terms of y so menu calculus derivative we will do in terms of x so f comma in terms of y so menu calculus derivative uh, in terms of y, f, and in this question, the uh, given point x comma y is denoted as one comma two. So like this, we'll do the same thing where we say a control equal straight line down. We have x is equal to one space, and y is equal to uh, two. So two. And we're almost there. Now we do the dot product of the gradient with a uh, unit vector. So menu, uh, 7 for matrix. We go down to C, and then we go to uh, dot product. And so we will have the dot product of this, comma, U, this, comma, U, like this. Hit enter, and this is the final answer. And I'm just gonna like expand this so I mean if you might have missed a step or something. So now you can take a look. And that's all we need to do.